Hi, this is Brett Waters from Logic Play. I'd like to show you today the new plug and play feature from that line dancer. Let's log in. Now first we're going to go to the settings screen and we're going to enable plug and play. You see here these are the defaults these are the default plug and play settings in that line dancer. I'm going to enable the DHCP server and I'm going to supply some IP addresses. You can use an external DTP server if you want, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the built-in DTP server. Let's enable it. Okay, now that the DTP server is configured, let's build a configuration template. This is a template configuration that we're going to deploy uh, on your target device. In the secret PMP tab, I go to the templates tab and I enter a name for my template. I'm going to be deploying on the Cisco 2960. I've got a base configuration in an external text file, and I'm going to cut and paste here and use that as the basis for the configuration of this device. You can see here it's a basic Cisco configuration file. I'm going to make some replacement values that will be used in the template. I'm going to make a host name replacement and then enable password. Replacement. An IP address replacement. An IP subnet replacement. syslog server and this is going to be trap host and the SNMP community stream. After I've added all these replacement values, I want to add, I want to make groups in the UI in order to organize the large number of fields that we created. I'm going to create two groups, one called general, one called security. Using the up and down arrows, I can move the various replacements into the different display groups. You only have to do this one time for your template. We're going to use the same template for all the 2960 devices that I'm After you're done, just click Save. Now that I've created a configuration template, I need to associate that template with the target device that I intended to create. Here I'm entering the serial number of the device. This can be found um, on the shipping box or on the chassis itself of the target device. And I'm going to deploy to the start configuration and I chose to reload after the configuration is deployed. After I click enter, I can see all the fields that I defined in our template are now presumed to be here. 
every time I add a new device using the same template, all I have to do now is to fill out these fields. And when I'm done, I click save. Okay. Our template is, is all ready to deploy onto the target device. Here I've got a, a console connection to a phone N60 switch. And I erase the MD RAM and I'm doing a show command. You can see there's no starter configuration. Now I'm going to reload the device. Now when a Cisco device boots and it doesn't have a configuration, it goes and looks for a PMP server. We're in fast forward mode here. This is a very slow device to boot, usually takes about five minutes. Okay, now we're booting up here. And very quickly, you're going to see after it boots up, it begins interacting with the NetBind Dancer server. Here is logging the PMP information. And very quickly in the UI, you can see that it reached out to our server, retrieved the configuration, and deployed it to the device. Now we perform the automatic shutdown as a result of the checkbox in our UI. And you can see there's a message associated with Ruby that's provided by NetBind Dancer. But here again, we're in fast forward mode as the device boots up. Almost done. And you can see by the prompt that the device has a configuration. Otherwise, it would just say switch. And you can see it now requires only a password because we've set one in the template. It had no, start, no startup configuration before, but now it has one. And it has the host name, enable password. IP address, netmask, syslog host, SMP trap host, and public community stream. That concludes the demonstration of the Cisco PMP feature in the Dancer. For more information, go to logicvan.com.